Hi, we're here at the 39th Annual Bikers Roundup. I'm here with Derek Robinson, a chapter officer out of Chicago, Illinois. And uh, Derek, can you please tell us a little bit about this rally, how you got involved, and when you got involved? Oh, uh, actually, that was in 2012. It was an awesome opportunity where I just really felt led by the Lord to go. And uh, my wife uh, said it had to be an act of God for her to go. And the Lord just opened up the doors for all of us to go. And so uh, the first uh, event was uh, in Mississippi. And uh, we just had a, a wonderful time meeting other chapters and working along with other CMA chapters to reach uh, bikers with the National Bikers Roundup. Now, Derek, this rally floats around the country. It moves from city to city. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, it's uh, really neat because every 10 years they go back to the origina uh, original location, which is in Kansas City. But in between then, all of the clubs bid for an opportunity to host the National Bikers Roundup. So it's the largest um, camping rally in the country right now. Uh, they actually go uh, to different locations every year. And so depending on how large the location is and how many people, many times it has to be a location that can host anywhere between 40 to 60,000 people at the same time. time has just begun. incredible um, you know we always do many of the things that we always do at the CMA tent we provide free water and um, a lot of people come and uh, we also get to tell them about the living water that Jesus provides uh, but we get a chance to share the gospel with so many different people we do bike blessings we also um, we kind of do some new things too if we see couples riding together we have them hold hands we bless their bike and uh, some of them come back the following year asking to do the same thing Tell us a little bit about the opportunity that God has created with the with the vendor booth next to us. Oh, you know, that's incredible. It's pretty hot out here, and I went to go get a cooling vest. And the neat thing about that was that uh, it opened up an uh, opportunity of conversation. And he was very open, and I can see that the Holy Spirit was, you know, allowing him to just begin to ask questions about um, where he's going to spend eternity. So we've been having off and on conversations with him and now his boss as well about um, where are you going to go when you die today? Praise God. Or if you die today. Well, praise God for that. And we know that God will use that. He'll develop that and it'll carry on through. And somewhere down the road, you and I can believe that he's going to find salvation if it's not here this week. Absolutely. Praise God. Praise God. To the new front He's going to check us out of here.
ready to wrap this weekend up. Yep. How about give us your thoughts on how things went, uh, any any special things that happened, and oh, yeah. also give us a little follow up on our next door neighbor. Oh, it's been incredible. Um, a lot of people have been welcoming us. We've been praying for a lot of folks here. Uh, people have been coming up and asking for prayer, which is really nice. Uh, the other neat thing, too, is that um, it seems to be uh, something that as more and more people have been coming through, they've been coming to get water, information about CMA, uh, joining CMA, and then also it's kind of neat because um, they kind of want to know a little bit more. So we've been able to kind of um, share the gospel or encourage those guys. There's a lot of folks that go to church but don't necessarily um, have a relationship. And so we've been able to kind of spend a lot more time with those folks and do that. Uh, as far as an update uh, with the guy next door, uh, praise God, he accepted Christ. Uh, so he pulled me off to the side, we went back in the tent, and, and uh, he was ready. And so the neat thing about that is that um, I got his email address, we're going to be in contact with each other, I'm going to be encouraging him, and actually sent him, sent him his first devotional uh, this morning. Praise God. So let me get this straight. When you first started talking to him, he claimed to be an atheist. Yeah. And then he decided, okay, no, I can acknowledge God, so I'm an agnostic. Absolutely. And now he's a born-again Christian. Praise God. Praise God.